Good morning. Good morning. Difficult decisions. Rock or flexible. At any rate, this sounds solid, so this morning, it wasn't too long into the life of the early church before dissension began to arise. Some of the Greek-speaking Jews in the New Fellowship started to complain that their widows were not being fully, fairly included in the daily distribution of food. The reaction of the 12 disciples was that their call was to spread the gospel and they didn't have time to wait on table. So seven Greek-speaking Jews were appointed to what we would call a diaconal ministry. Very quickly, some of these men began to cause problems for the community. First, there was Stephen, whose inflammatory preaching brought persecution to the church. Eventually, he was stoned to death at the urging of the Jewish leaders, the first martyr of the young church. And then Philip, another of these deacons, by his actions, took the church in a whole new direction with its, from its Jewish roots. That's the story in today's scripture reading. It's found in the book of Acts, the eighth chapter, reading verses 26 through 40. An angel of the Lord said to Philip, get up and go towards the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a wilderness road. So he got up and went. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury. He had come to Jerusalem to worship, and he was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. Then the spirit said to Philip, go over to this char chariot and join it. So Philip ran up to it and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah. He asked, do you understand what you are reading? The man replied, how can I, unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to get in and sit beside him. Now the passage of the scripture that he was reading was this. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and like a lamb, silent before its shearer, so he does not open his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? for his life is taken away from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, about whom, may I ask, does the prophet say this, about himself or about someone else? Then Philip began to speak, and starting with his scripture, he proclaimed to him the good news about Jesus. As they were going along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, look, here is the water. What is to prevent me from being baptized? He commanded the chariot to stop, and both of them, Philip and the eunuch, went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away. The eunuch saw him no more, and went on his way, rejoicing. But Philip found himself in Azotus, and as he was passing through the region, he proclaimed the good news to all of the towns until he came to Caesarea. May these words open us to the Spirit's presence. And it is to God. 